What's going on guys? My name is Will Mitchell and I have lived in Belize full time for the past 10 years and first visited the country when I was five years old. So at this point you could say, I know a little bit about Belize and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the top five places you should visit when you come to Belize. Now I will start this off by saying, I love going all over the country of Belize. I travel from the northern end to the southern end, west to east, everywhere. But this is more for vacation travel and what I would recommend. Now, if you don't know me, I'm the regional owner for Remax Belize. I have 13 offices countrywide that I oversee and 103 Remax agents. So I have a pretty diverse knowledge base when it comes to all different areas of Belize. So I love the whole country of Belize, but let's dive into it. Mike, do you like Punta Gorda? I love Punta Gorda. Why do you like Punta Gorda? Well, Punta Gorda has one of my favorite resorts there, which is Couple Tree Lodge, and it's absolutely beautiful there. So in case you guys haven't figured it out, my number five is Punta Gorda PG. It's located in the Toledo district of Belize, down south. Now this is a more remote location that most people probably aren't gonna go to on their visit, but it has so many different things to see, like Luban to Mayan Temple. They have waterfalls. It is one of the most lush areas of Belize. It gets the most rainfall in the country. You have rivers that go through the area. You have the ocean front there and it is for the laid back adventure traveler. If you just wanna get off the beaten path, if you don't wanna see anyone really, you should check out PG, that's my number five. Next up on the list, we have Placentia. Placentia is a smaller town village located in the Stan Creek area. I'm gonna kind of loop a few places into this one. I'm gonna include Hopkins as well. Now the reason why I love Placentia is because you have all of these keys. So if you don't know the geography of Belize, as you go south from the northern end of the country, the reef actually goes further away from land. So when you get down to Placentia, it's about 24 miles away from the coastline to get to the reef. Now the benefit of this is you have an array of hundreds of keys and islands that are located in between the mainland Belize and the reef. So you can go explore these keys during the day. If you didn't see our Placentia vlog, we did visit some of them. You have Moho Key, you have one of my favorites, King Louis Key. There's just hundreds of these awesome keys over there that typically have their own little reef system around them. So great for day trips out there. It is a smaller peninsula village, so you're not gonna have as many restaurant options, but they do have some really good ones like Maya Bistro, Rumfish, Turtle Inn. There's a bunch of options down there. And also you're close to Coxcomb, which is a national park. They have Tiger Fern Falls in there, which is kind of a double waterfall. I know, you know, shout out to the single waterfalls out there, but Tiger Fern is very cool. They have a plane that is run down in there and a ton of different trails, Victoria's Peak. So not only do you have the village there, you're close to some natural elements and then you have the island. So that gives Placentia that's eight, it'd be my number four spot on the list. Cocker, why do you love Key Cocker? Okay, I love Key Cocker because it's, um, it's laid back, it's chill, it's fun. <laughs> my number three on the list is Key Cocker. Key Cocker is the little sister island to San Pedro. It's much smaller, more of a backpacker vibe. We've done a ton of videos on Key Cocker showing you the places to visit, like the Lazy Lizard, they have some awesome beach clubs there. Blue Zen is a nice hotel. You have Pasta Per Castle, which is one of my favorite places to go. Sports bar if you want to party, but Key Cocker offers more of a backpacker, hippie, Rasta vibe. Key Cocker is the place to do it, and that is why it gets my number three slot on the top places to visit in Belize. Lilo, why do you love San Ignacio? San Ignacio holds one of Belize's best wonders because they have from the mountains to the wildlife, they actually have over 250 types of species of birds and over 450 species of flowers. So my number two is San Ignacio, located in the Cayo district of Belize. San Ignacio offers such a diverse wildlife, like Lalo just told you. You can go out into Pine Ridge, you can see all the different rivers, waterfalls, caves, like the Rio Frio cave, like the Rio Ampools. 
you can go explore different resorts in there like Blancano, Gaia. Blancano is actually Francis Ford Coppola's resort. You have so many good food options in there. I like hitting Pop's Diner for breakfast. San Ignacio Hotel has great food. You have Guava Limb. I could go on for days. So not only do you have great food, you have all these different adventures you can do. Mayan temples, some of the biggest in Belize. So you can go to Zunantunage. You could go deeper inland and go to Caracol and explore that. But there is so many different points for you to visit. It's close to the Guatemala border on the western side of Belize and really just offers an array of places for you to explore and get that jungle experience for your Belize trip. But my number one spot, San Pedro, Ambergris Key. Big up to my guy Tim over here. Big up to Tim as always. But the reason you gotta come to San Pedro is because it is literally the number one tourism destination in the country of Belize. You have the closest proximity to the reef. So the island is actually located just a few hundred yards from the reef. And then when you go out to the northern end of the island, it actually touches the reef. It's called Rocky Point. So you are able to literally go to land and see reef. You have some of the best natural diverse marine life going to Holchan, going to Shark Reale, going to Mexico Rocks. Holchan is Mayan for small channel and it is a small channel that is full of diverse wildlife. I always see spotted eagle rays in there, turtles, there are so many different fish and it's really a great experience there. Then you also have the ability to go to Secret Beach, hang out at the beach, get your drinks, or go to any of the beaches around the island and enjoy. There's the most restaurants. If you saw our travel guide, then you would have seen that. And that is the reason why San Pedro is my number one recommendation. Overall, I recommend checking out all over Belize. I didn't mention Corozal, Dangriga, uh, where else do I need to give some shout outs to? Hopkins, and these are all places that I love to visit as well. This is my personal top five list. So if you like other places, let me know in the comment section. And that's what I have for you guys for today. It's another beautiful day in paradise. If you haven't already guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. We appreciate everyone jumping along and following for more Belize info. And we'll see you in the next video and hopefully under some of these palm trees soon.